Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at a team build to beat all of the punching bag challenges. Now the punching bag stages are broken kind of into two parts. You have the first three stages which require you to use no items and then you have the stages three, uh, four, five and six which allow you to use items. Now four, five and six are way easier than stages one, two and three. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how you can beat stages one, two and three and four, five and six uh, with precisely this team build. I will also discuss exactly what you need uh, and any alternatives. I'll show an alternative build at the end of the video as well. Now for stages one, two, and three, which is the no item stages, this is where predominantly you're going to need uh, to prioritize this kind of build. Uh, so just going to show you guys here, you can see this is the team. So firstly, you need a nuking lead. What's a nuking lead? Well, it's a unit that gives you attack per orb obtained. Ideally, it's a type orb lead. Uh, so for example, you can see Trunks here is at 35%. Try and use one of the ones that have an easy A. So in this case, for the physical units, it's Trunks and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Both of them give 35% per orb. That extra 2% compared to 33% does matter. It does make a difference. Next, you need to have GT Goku. Now mine has one dupe and is a full crit build with level 8 links. You're going to want to have exactly the same thing. You don't need a support, but you do need these two orb changes. You're going to need physical Kefla, and you're going to need the Whis, uh, or Weirus. Ideally, Weirus, because he's a double orb changer. If not, there are other alternatives. Uh, you can find them, but Weirus is the best one, because he's a double orb changer. Kefla is also great, because she randomly changes orbs. Vegeta, the Super Saiyan Blue one, if you're not using him as a lead, is also great because he changes rainbow orbs, but ideally just fill up with physical orb generators. Specifically physical orb generators, you don't want rainbow orb generators. Uh, rainbow orb generators, rainbow orbs are not great for nuking events because rainbow orbs uh, break up your paths and only allow you to run like one straight line. If you get like three rainbow orbs in a row, it's going to prioritize rainbow orbs. It won't prioritize the type orbs. So that's everything you need now in this team you can switch super saiyan blue vegeta to lead uh, which is 100 percent advisable and you can replace trunks with another orb changer i suggest super saiyan blue goku i'll show you the exact build at the end and you don't have to have a support you can be all all orb uh, type units or all orb changer type units for your friend lead you choose a super saiyan blue vegeta because um, both vegetas change rainbow orbs and rainbow orbs are a random spawn so having two vegetas does help do with this. removing the rainbow orbs that will appear now the thing is uh, when you are running the punching bag stage it is a little bit of rng especially stages one two and three and i say a little bit it's a lot uh, but ideally what you want to do is you want to have your orb changes appear in the first round ideally and then you want to have Goku appear in the second round with the support. If not, it's fine. Ideally, you just want Goku to have the orbs. The orbs are the most important thing. Support doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it helps, but it's more of a kind of like, oh, it's helping me a little bit type of thing. Ideally, you want to have orbs because the difference between orbs is massive. Uh, you can see here an example of Goku. He got a couple of orbs, that's great. Uh, I'm going to show you a scenario where he gets 13 orbs and the amount his damage is going to increase is exponential because the attack increase is each orb on each orb. So when you're getting 35% for orb 8, you're also getting 35% extra of orb 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7, and 6. So it's very important that orbs are the priority, which is why orb changes are more important than sports every single time. And critting is also very important. Critting is going to augment that damage substantially. It's going to take it from like a 34 million to a 49 million. And it cuts down on the required attack time. Now the required amount of orbs for one dupe Goku with level 8 links that has two of them active is going to be around 20 orbs. I'm going to show you now a successful run uh, with stage 2 that I cleared it on. Uh, and you're going to see that I got 20 orbs, uh, so you can see it here. I actually posted it as a short, uh, which you know, uh, was uh, I've been experimenting with some punching bag units. But you can see here, all those orbs. Now, this is too much attack. 
Um, but the difference between one orb and the next is quite substantial. So I would wager you could probably get maybe one orb less than this, uh, and I think you would be fine, or two orbs less than this, maybe 18 orbs. But ideally you're looking for around 18 orbs. Uh, you'll notice on this turn we have no support, Wereus didn't get uh, his support abilities. Uh, so basically at this point you're good to go. You can see there we got the crit, we're all ready to go. Now obviously if you have a rainbow Goku, um, yeah, if you have a support it's going to change slightly the amount of orbs you need. But following this team build will guarantee you success. Next, we're going to take a look at the stages 4, 5, and 6. And 4, 5, and 6 are dramatically easier than stages 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 4, 5, and 6 realistically will not take you nearly as many attempts. In fact, you can probably go and clear them all today. Uh, just following this team build because 4, 5, and 6, essentially, you can use items. So you can create orbs, you can augment your attack stats. The number one important item that you're going to use here regardless of what nuking team you build, is going to be the uh, type based orb changing attack augmenting item. So it sounds complicated, but it's not. It's the Bura Cookie, uh, Chilai, Lemo, um, uh, the, and now I've completely blanked, but it's, uh, yeah, there we go. The tofu snack thing there. So it's all these uh, and the Monaco costume. They all depend on your typing. Uh, you can just pick one for whatever typing you're running with. Then you can just pick two attack supports. And then what I like to do is I like to pick at least one orb changing item just to kind of help out if I don't get so lucky with the orbs. Now, because you have two orb changing items, because uh, the Deborah Cookie or Chi Lion Lemma or whatever you know, support item you took for whatever typing you are, uh, is going to change the orbs and you also have an orb changing item and you have two attack augments uh, this one is way easier so way 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 easier you can see here uh, immediately you know we can just essentially build everything up you can see how uh, this is a great example by the way of how i'm planning my orbs for the next turn so i know that goku is appearing in the next turn uh, i don't want to destroy my field of physical orbs so you can see there i'm trying hard uh, to basically remove orbs or any of the minimum amount of orbs that are necessary so when the next field clears and there you go you can see uh, you know pretty much a full clear field for Goku you are now use the Burrow Cookie you can use uh, the orb changer if you want to I'll use the World Tournament Announcer I'll use the, Bel the Belma uh, you don't have to use both the Burrow Cookies I believe the attack buff does not stack but the orb changing can occur uh, so using both cookies will change potentially two types of orbs. It also can change no orbs if you get really unlucky due to the fact that it could change orbs that are already changed. But, um, you yeah, know, that's it. So yeah, all pretty straightforward. You can see they're very easy. Uh, 99 million uh, in terms of damage and all really good. So stages 4, 5, and 6 are very, very simple uh, and very, very easy. Now just to quickly show you one change that you can make to the team, which should give you an easier time, especially in stages one, two, and three. Uh, and this is just a change to help make your life easier if you're someone who's really struggling with the orbs, uh, basically to give you a little bit of a little bit of a push if you are someone who's struggling. So you can switch trunks out because trunks doesn't generate orbs nor actually do anything. Uh, and you can switch Vegeta to the lead they both have the same physical attack per orb and then you can also switch in this goku who randomly changes key spheres of a type now the reason we're going specifically for this goku is because he can randomly change any key spheres which means he could cover for any we have missed that's it from me bye